we will be headed into session three. Uh, this young man who will be taking over the next two sessions is labeled as the young leader of the King James movement by staunch anti-King James only advocate Mark Ward. Please welcome Kenyon Bowers. Thank you, Sean. I'm going to need the clicker. Yes, I took your clicker. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Don't hold it. Okay, so the mic is on. The mic yeah. is on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, thank you, Sean, for just allowing me to uh, speak today. Um, and uh, as it says right here, when we talk about the deception of Blue Letter Bible. Um, and so my question is, why do people use Blue Letter Bible? Well, people use Blue Letter Bible because of the feature it has where it allows someone to supposedly, and you'll see why I say supposedly, supposedly see the underlying Hebrew or Greek of their particular translation. Um, and I think it's uh, pretty important to talk about this just because a lot of fundamentalists use this app uh, and it's pretty, uh, getting pretty big uh, within fundamentalist circles. Um, and so if we look at the Hebrew that the Blue Letter Bible uses, um, they use um, what is called the Westminster Leningrad Codex. And if you know uh, anything about the Westminster Leningrad Codex, um, it is uh, supposedly, or you would think that it would be based off the name, that it would be the Leningrad Codex that was found in Egypt. But the fact is, it's, it's actually not. Um, and so um, the Hebrew text used by Blue Letter Bible is not the Hebrew uh, text underlying any English translation, whether it be the King James or a modern Bible, or like they have in Blue Letter Bible, they only have it for the NASB. Um, and so, uh, here's what they say. They say it's the Westminster Leningrad Codex, and they go on to talk about how it's from the Westminster Hebrew Institute um, from January 2016. Uh, so it's been quite a, quite a while since they've updated it. But um, they say, so we have the King James, which uses the first and second uh, rabbinic Bibles. We have uh, most modern Bibles using the Biblia Hebraica Stugartensia, and then Blue Letter Bible uses the Westminster Leningrad Codex. Things that are different are simply not the same. So this is what the, the people that actually created the WLC, this is what they say about it. They say, uh, this text began as an electronic transcription of the 1983 printed edition of Biblia Hebraica Stugartensia. Um, and then down here it says, since that time, the text has been modified in many hundreds of places to conform to the photo facsimile of the Leningrad Codex, residing at the Russian National Library, St. Saint Petersburg, uh, hence the change of name. And so uh, it's not exactly a copy of the Leningrad because it was based upon the Biblia Hebraica Sugartensia and they do not ever claim that it's 100% uh, the Leningrad. Uh, instead what they do is they just say, oh, it's been conformed in hundreds of places. And they never actually say that it's, um, that it's completely. And funny enough, um, and I don't know where it is on my notes, but uh, in Joshua chapter 21, verses 36 and 37, the Leningrad Codex does not contain those verses, but in the, Len the Westminster Leningrad Codex, you find those verses uh, in there because it's not just a direct uh, uh, digital copy of the Leningrad Codex. It's actually just kind of a mesh between uh, Biblia Hebraica Stugartensia and the Leningrad. So it's just kind of a mesh and it's not the same as what modern Bibles use. Um, and then we have the Greek. And so the King James used mostly three different editions of the Textus Receptus. You have the 1550 Stephanus, 1551 Stephanus, and Beza's uh, 1598. And they also had some other ones, but those were the main three. Um, and so in Luke 17, 36, the King James says, two men shall be in the field, one shall be taken and the other left. Well, in Stephanus' 1550 edition, this verse is not there. In Beza's 1598 edition, however, we see that the verse is uh, included. Um, and you say, well, what is this important? What does this have to do with Blue Letter Bible? Well, let's see. In Blue Letter Bible says that they use uh, it says, Blue Letter Bible utilizes Stephanus' edition from 1550. So they claim they're using the 1550 edition. Remember, 1550 edition does not contain uh, Luke 1736, okay? So if we go to Luke 1736, though, it's right there. So here's the thing. Either they didn't check their sources well enough, or they lied. 
I'm going to just give them the benefit of the doubt and say they didn't check their source as well. Um, so, but that, that verse is uh, in here and it's not supposed to be according to the edition that they say that they used. Um, and so the Stephanus 1550 is in disagreement with the King James um, in some places. It's not much, but in some places. And this example actually comes from Mark Ward, so I got to give him thanks for that. Um, Revelation 11, verse 2, it says, But the court which is without, you're going to look at that word, without the temple, leave out, and measure it not. For it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. So the 1550 Stephanus edition actually says uh, that, uh, instead of saying that which is without the temple, it says which is within the temple. And as you can see down here, and it's kind of blurry, but it's just one letter difference. Uh, but it, it's a different meaning, and that's what uh, the Blue Letter Bible uses. It matches the 1550 like they say they use, but then again, they also have that one verse they took from Biza. And I really don't know why they didn't just uh, use uh, Scrivener's uh, 18, or not 18, it would be 18, 1881 uh, slash 1894 edition. I don't know why they didn't do that, because that was actually based on uh, trying to be the text that the King James would have been translated from. Um, but they, I guess, chose to go with Stephanus's, but they didn't even actually go with Stephanus's. They just took like a, kind of like a hybrid almost, because they, they took a verse from Biza and they put it in Stephanus's 1550, um, and so it's not um, honest. And so with that, we will be back in five minutes. <laughs>